In this video I'm going to demonstrate photo transfer. All you're going to need is an image to transfer, acrylic matte medium, and a surface to transfer to. A couple things about the image. First, you're going to need to use either a laser printout or a photocopy. Most home printers are inkjet or bubble jet, so you're going to need to take your image to a photocopy store if you have an inkjet printer to make a photocopy. So if you're working from a photograph or something that you found online or a digital image that you made, if you print something out on an inkjet printer, you're going to need to go and get that photocopied. Either color or black and white, both work with this particular process. The second thing about the image is this process is going to flip our image horizontally or mirror image the image. So what, uh, what's going to happen is our text is going to be backwards. This might not matter for the image or the face. Uh, he'll be facing the other way. That might not matter to you. But with text, it's obviously going to cause problems. So what we do is we start with the mirror image. We start with the mirror image of what we of what we want to end up with. So here I put them side by side. You can see that in this, in the original, the writing is correct and he's facing the, the correct direction. In this copy, which is the one I'm going to use for my transfer, he's facing the other way and the letters are backwards. Very important. So you need to start with a mirror image of the image you want to end up with. Next, matte medium. You can use any acrylic matte medium for this process. I have found that Liquitex works especially well because of its consistency. It's got a nice liquidy consistency so the, so the matte medium dries really quickly. Finally, I'm going to be transferring to watercolor paper. You can transfer to anything that you can get matte medium to stick to. So you can transfer to wood or I've transferred on to the front of a book. Um, I imagine there, there are some ways you could prepare glass to be able to transfer onto. Anything that you can get acrylic matte medium to stick to, you can transfer onto. Okay, let's get started. I've got my paintbrush, I've got matte medium poured into a more convenient container, and I've got my watercolor paper that I'm going to transfer my image onto. And of course I have my image. Now, take a look at this. This is our original image, that's what we want to end up with. So in order to do that, I'm taking the mirror image of our original, and that's what I'm going to use to transfer. I'm going to take my brush and paint some matte medium on there. I want to be fairly liberal in applying the matte medium, um, and I'm going to spread it so there's an even layer of matte medium across paper surface there and I can kind of tell from how it's shining um, how the light's shining off it that I've got a fairly even coverage there. You can also use your hands I often use my hands because um, you can actually feel how thick the matte medium is on there. Next I'm going to take my photocopy or laser printout and I'm going to put it face down into the wet matte medium. Then starting in the middle, I'm going to press down and push out towards the edge. And now I can tell that I've got a really nice even coverage. Everything's glued down, everything, every part of my image came into contact with wet matte medium. That's very important. And now all I need to do is let it dry. All right. The matte medium is dried and I'm ready to do the messy stage where we actually rub the paper off the back of my photocopy or laser copy. For that, what I'm going to use is a little bit of water. The matte medium doesn't get wet again. It's going to stay dry, so um, it doesn't matter if we put water on it. I'm going to dip my fingers in the water and then just rub lightly on the back of my photocopy. You don't want to put too much water on there. As I rub lightly, the back of the paper starts to turn transparent and I can start seeing my image through the back of the paper. As it goes transparent, I can start rubbing a little bit harder. And as you can see, the paper is going to start balling off 
the back of my photocopy. You can also see that the letters, John, have corrected themselves. Remember I started with the mirror image, so when I transferred them they were they would fix themselves, correct themselves. As the water dries, there's going to be more friction between my fingers and the paper, which is good because it will help me get that last final little haze of paper fiber off. Okay, you see you have to scrub pretty hard to get that paper off. You could also use, um, you could use a sponge or you could use rubber gloves to try to protect your hands a little bit from, from getting roughed up by rubbing off all this paper. Okay, a little bit more. Now if I've gotten any matte medium on the back of the, the image I transferred, then I'm going to run into problems because it's going to make it a lot harder to rub the paper off the back of the image. Good enough. And what we're left with is our image, now correct, now John Lennon's face is facing the right way and the text is oriented correctly. Now you can see that the image was broken up a little bit. It didn't transfer completely. Um, some areas where you actually see some of the paper texture, some areas where it didn't transfer at all. I like that effect. Um, there are ways to avoid that and get a, a cleaner transfer. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. And that's it. That is photo transfer. I took my image that was on a piece of paper and I transferred it to a piece of watercolor paper. All right, I transferred the toner onto a piece of watercolor paper.